Hey girl, hey, it's Diamond Lachey here and I'm back with another video. Can you believe we are week seven or eight into the Girl Boss Talk series? I feel like each story is different and unique in their own way and each one motivates me to get my life together. This week's Girl Boss is Melita, who is the owner of the Melita Collection. It's a trendy and affordable accessories brand that sells so many good stuff. I'm so happy to have her here today. I hope her story encourages you like it did me. Let's just get into the video. you guys we are back with another slay of the week today we have melita here how are you feeling i am good <laughs> okay so you are a woman of many traits tell people who you are okay i am melita most people call me melita or deanesis i own melita collection um basically this is just something i really always wanted to do i just went for it and here I am. Yes, yes. Okay, so your brand, the Melita Collection, you mm -hmm. sell accessories, you sell sunglasses, jewelry, necklaces, all of that. Um, yes. And you started back in 2017. How did you come up with such a different idea? Um, well, you know what? I had first started off with shades. That's all I was offering at one point for okay. a while. Uh, me and one of my girlfriends, we was together, and she uh, was doing like PR work, and mm -hmm. she had want to rebrand I, had, I didn't like the name i had or whatever so she helped me change the name that's how in 2017 that's how Melita collection got started okay. and so um and i just i don't know i need this i always wanted to add more and i did not know i was going to get to the clothes but i'm like i have to add more accessories more items be it the lashes and then the jewelry and here we are so. yes, yes okay so your brand is a luxe but it's not like a Instagram boutique. You have pieces that a lot of people don't have. Um, I think that's why you stand out to different people because like even your sunglasses, they might be something that we've seen before, but you brand them so differently. So that is why I think people gravitate towards you. So um, you actually expanded now into fashion a little bit. Um, when and why did you know like this is the right move to make? Well, you know what? Last year, I started to started with the clothes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, the clothes are different, then a little more expensive than just accessories, right? Mm -hmm. So I started last year, and I got a little bit because it didn't do what I expected it to do. Yep. Because people know me for my glasses and <laughs> so even though I had it, people just wasn't really, yeah. you know, gravitating towards it. But this time, I'm like, I'm going out in. Like, <laughs> I didn't put enough energy into. It. I didn't think yeah. it would that much and it, it does yes. because it takes a lot of organization money just being ready to present mm -hmm. it the right way like it's, it's a lot with it but it's so far i'm loving it though i'm not gonna lie right. y'all she got two piece sets custom <laughs> denim it's like you would have thought that you've girl. been selling clothes we you wouldn't have thought that you just started because yeah. you have pieces that you be like oh. Oh, it, Another one, another one. <laughs> Our cousin has said that she was like, anytime on social media, she like, as soon as you forget about Melita, that's all I see down my family. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, good. And I took that as a compliment. Okay. Yeah, besides the jewelry and the earrings and the necklaces, you also have clips and you sell lashes. Did that initially start with um, it? Or did so, no, I still sold those clips. Like, I haven't restocked them. I just had a lot of them from the beginning. So, I still have those. And the lashes, I do have to kind of, I had, I've been doing lashes, selling the strips for about a year. I just don't, sh I don't show them <laughs> as much, but they sell. So. Yeah. But I, I'm going to get into all that, so I'm going to do a thing where it's going to kind of all just kind of go together a little better. I'm working on that. Working yes. On that. You... I'm adding lip gloss. I am so excited. Yes. So Cosmetics. Excited. They are so bomb. Right now, I have on this one. I love a good pink blouse. So. Oh, pink <laughs> is it. I think pink is it no matter what. If you light skin, brown skin, dark skin. Yeah white blue purple green you can wear a pink gloss uh, and with a little clear mm -hmm. yes. maybe a brown lining whatever look you're going for but yes so you touched on it a little bit um you are selling lip gloss now how did you switch over to the cosmetics realm <laughs> <laughs> honestly i love lip gloss if i show you my purse full of pink yes. gloss i'm uh like pink is just my color so <laughs> 
thing. And I'm like, you know what? I need to I, I need to offer that because mm -hmm. um I love it so much. And you know what I did? I the vendor with that is like a lot of trial and error. And I see why people sell vendor lists because it is a trial and error. I wasted money before <laughs> I got this sample. This is actually just a sample of okay. me just getting this today. It literally came in the mail like two hours ago. So <laughs> that's why I'm so excited. But um I wasted a lot of money though yeah. before I got to this. So I'm super excited about this product. Super Excited. I'm excited yeah. for you. Um, so you said earlier you started with something else six years ago, and then you made a pivot in 2017. So you are technically a business owner since six, seven years ago. Um, yeah. How did you know in your business it was time to switch and rebrand? You know what? I got older, <laughs> um, mature. Honestly, like the name I had, the look I had, it was not talking to me anymore, and I felt like I was giving it everything that I should. I'm like, and that's a reason why I have to think about it. I don't like this name. I don't like this mm -hmm. logo anymore. I'm not liking the way this is going. I'm just not liking it. So I took a moment, kind of, it was winter time too. Okay. So, you know, I was like, okay, cool. Even though my regular people still were calling me and I had stuff, you know, but yeah. I just took a little break and came back and Melita is my middle name. So I'm like, and then she said the collection, it just went all together. I like, Cause I knew I wanted to offer not just shades, right? Yeah. So, it's like, I don't want to be something shades. I knew it had to be something that meant a variety mm -hmm. and a better early collection. So. Yes. Y'all should use her as a... <laughs> As a guidance, because I know sometimes when you have a business and you've been having it for a couple of years or even some months, it's like, okay, this, I want to expand. And I know it can get to a point where you feel like if you expand, you'll lose clients or if you expand, people won't like your new name. So by you stepping out on faith and doing it, I think people can see that like, wow, she could do it. I could do it. <laughs> it's never too late to rebrand and you can continue to rebrand as you grow. I mean, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. Do not ever be scared. Like, whatever you do, do not be scared. That's, I feel like, if I wasn't scared, I'd probably be better than I am today. But now I know better, so. <laughs> yes. Fearless. 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 That is the word for 2020. You have to be fearless. Woo. Um, okay, so in the beginning, let's take it back. Let's rewind. You were an army brat. You were born in Germany. And, um... You're a Chicago native, but you are an army brat. How has being an army brat like shaped the woman that you are today? Um, you know what? It shaped me in a really good way because I was brought up in a home. My parents are still married, so I was raised in a you know married household, mm -hmm. and of course, they both had good careers, good jobs, yeah. and to make sure that I had, you know, I didn't really need for anything. Now, I would say, even though I was grew up in the, you know, I. <laughs> <laughs> the hood. I mean, you know, it's it's it doesn't really matter like where you're from as long as you know your your inside environment, your family. That's why family is so important. But um, it it really did a lot for me. Like a lot of like my friends, like yeah. cling to my family because I have like a my family was always mm -hmm. like a family. So it just brought my friendship closer and gave them somebody to look up yeah. to. So yeah, it really it really mattered. I'm happy my parents did like. <laughs> army and have me yes yes i feel like people who grow up with parents in the army they are they have a tendency to be easier to pivot and that's a great trait you need in business because things are always changing your market changes your customer may change your logo may change so being that you had so much change you're not you you're not holding on to anything or you're not scared to change so that that's something that you, i feel like all people all army brats tend to have is because y'all just can't pivot at any moment and i'll be like wait i'm ready put me in the environment what's up i said what you want me to be today what's up <laughs> yes that is all that is amazing um so speaking on when you were younger you wanted to be a journalist and you wanted to write for a magazine when did that change so I went away to school, so that's something I didn't really to touch on. So I went away to school in SIU in Carbondale, Illinois. Yes. Um, went there for a few years for whatever reason. I I was always coming home. <laughs> so I did not graduate, right? So I was there. I'm just like, I came back home, and I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Like, I'm in school right now four times, too, by the way. So yes. Finish the degree. Look, I'm going to go ahead and finally finish it, but... Um, yeah, so when I came back, I just, I had to change my whole, you know, I had to kind of put that on the back burner, 
right? Yeah. Like, I always want to do something with media, something with cannabis. First, it was like kind of public relations. I know I want to write. I want to be like mm-hmm. in magazines and it's seeing my face and I'm meeting people and talking yes. and all that. Like, I always wanted to do that. But like I said, I had to put it behind because I came back home and I had to kind of get into the Chicago life. So, <laughs> um, nevertheless, um, that's what I wanted to. I wanted to be a journalist. Yes. Okay. So, y'all, I know she don't look it, but she's thirty. Only thirty. Like only. And you've been in business since you were 24, 23, 20, Yeah, twenty three, twenty four. Um. Yeah. So, I know, like you said earlier, you, sometimes you you bump your head, you make mistakes in business. We all do it. We learn from it. You grow from it. You try a vendor, it don't work. You move on. Mm-hmm. What is one thing you wish you knew in the beginning? You have to always be willing to learn and listen. Okay. Don't stop. Like, you do not know it all. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> um, yes. Take advice to people. Read. Listen. Take notes. Be organized. Like, yes. that's super key to, to growing. Definitely. So, I will say always be willing to get more knowledge. Find knowledge. Find it. Don't be scared. Just go for it. Yes. But that's be willing to learn. I wish I would have just listened a little more, but you know, it all worked out. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, I'm hard headed. So, so if you are in a business and you might think like, I know it all. I've been doing this a year. Like, it's always something you could learn or something you could change. So listen as much as you can to people, but not even that. I think you have to really follow yourself. People can tell you everything, but you know your business at the end of the day. So. Act accordingly on that. Okay? Act accordingly on that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so not only do you sell accessories and clothes, you also sell vendors lists and a girl <laughs> boss guy, okay? Why do you think it's so important to give back to other girl boss owners? Oh, because it's just so exciting when you like meet people who they see you and they're like, I always wanted to do this, or I wanna know how to do this, and they're like so intrigued on what you want is like <laughs> You feel like, oh, it's so simple, but it's like when you put it on a piece of paper, yeah. and you have to work, you're like, okay, wait, it is, you know, for somebody <laughs> who don't know this is yeah. a lot. But I feel like it's so important because you can't call yourself a boss mm-hmm. if you can't, you know, show others something, whether it's a tip, advice, guide, whatever. Like, you can't be considered a boss if you can't help other people. And it's just that simple, and I and I that I just started with that, so I'm I'm gonna add more to it. Don't get better. I do want to expand on that. Definitely, that's yes. the whole. Yeah, that's the whole thing. So yes, give back to us. If you can help somebody from making the same mistakes you made, it's like let me do it. Yes, and I'm listening. I ain't you know I ain't all the way up there. I'm <laughs> we, we here, so it's like I I'm, I'm here. Like anything, yeah. like anybody that purchased like a vendor list from me, or even like the girl. Uh, girl boss guy, they can always reach out to me. So I put that on that too. Like, don't be scared to email me, to text me. I mean, I'm super personal, even though I do want to get more personal on my page. But I'm, I'm personal. You hear me? I'm going to respond. We can talk. We can chat about whatever. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think that females make it harder to lean on other girl bosses? Because they scared that that person <laughs> gonna be better than them or they thought they gonna take their shine it is so much shine out here like for all of us yes. to shine bright okay <laughs> yes <laughs> yes that is true real, it really is because sometimes it can't it can be a little i don't know like it can't seem like oh is she's gonna or just cattiness that's another mm-hmm. thing like girls like to kind of mix business with pleasure and it's okay too i'm not saying like you know, it's just strictly business, but at some point, you have to have boundaries and respect, and a lot of females don't expect, um, respect one another's boundaries when it comes to just certain things, and it's like, everybody is not like you, yeah. like me, like, every year different, so you have to kind of learn people, when you learn people, you can, that's, mm. any, like, a, that's one thing about me, like, I know people, so it's very rare you are here, anybody saying anything, you know, so yeah. like the, because I don't move like that, I know how to handle people. That's a yeah. trick right there. In I business, know. you have to yeah. know how to categorize people. Like, okay, this you're going to go here. Like, I'm not going to tell you everything because you might take it and flip it. Like, yeah. you have to know right. how to categorize your people in your life, whether it's a friend yes. or a business partner or whatever. You you just have to Man. put people in different different buckets. And that's okay. That doesn't and make... Okay. Yes. Nothing is wrong with that. Like, yes. You know, like, I'm different. I bet they keep up a lot of 
mess and they all over the place because there's nothing wrong with that. That's it's a boundary. It's a boundary. It is. Yes. So where do you see yourself going in the next five years? Years. I can definitely see between now and the five years a store. Yes. Um, me being just like a, a coach, like a business coach. Yeah. more. Than, and I'm still going to have my businesses. Mm -hmm. I also going to have property. So that's that's the, like, me doing all of this, that's what I want to do. Like, I really want to have my own, like, real estate group where I'm, like, flipping properties. I'm renting them out. Like, and it's like a whole family thing. So when I eventually have kids, they won't have to go to college, you know, it's dead if they don't want to or just, you know, all of that. Yes. I just this for my family so that's definitely the key so i see yes. myself a property owner of multiple buildings and homes and maybe a storefront maybe bigger online i yeah. don't know and definitely being a coach yes to the coach okay yes. um so you're in chicago right now a lot of people that I follow are actually in for chicago i don't know what it is um y'all are like a different breed i feel like y'all are all by any means necessary kind of people <laughs> like y'all gonna get it <laughs> y'all are gonna get it um do you see yourself ever leaving chicago you know i do i do and i love chicago i love my city it's 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 one of a kind of food is i know you probably if you know people from chicago we always yes. talk about our food so <laughs> that's the main that's something i really love about chicago but i will definitely move now when i come back i think i would if i was to move i think i just want to experience living somewhere where it's warmer climate mm -hmm. somewhere like Scottsdale, houston yes. like somewhere in there the only thing i don't like about there is like the disasters but other than that, i can definitely see myself doing that for a few years and um you know just or even having a home here and there mm -hmm. and just want it's changed I can rotate um, like you said earlier you want to have a storefront in the future um what is the hardest part about having an e-commerce when it's time to do all the orders and package everything mm -hmm. and stay organized with the count because I have stuff on hand right so I do offer pickups so it's kind of um I just transition everybody actually over to the site to do the pickup still so it can help my numbers it's like staying organized yeah. that's the main with when you have an that online that so you have to stay organized but you would think you have something and you don't now this person's waiting um it's just being organized so but it's the e-commerce i mean the site that i use is wix and wix is really good with like kind of notifying me on things but okay. it's still like you definitely definitely want to stay organized Ooh, it's something about being organized that just it's like even if my room is organized like i feel better it's like okay okay I can do yeah, something. Yeah. Everything's flowing. Everything is exactly how it needs to be. No stress on you. So you can end your day not thinking about, like, I know for mm -hmm. me, when something is not right, I end my day, I'm still thinking about, like, my mind is not go off my <laughs> yes. head. So when everything is good in the business and everything's organized and I know what's going on and I'm mm -hmm. just comfortable, then I can sleep easier at night. Yay. Stop the short. Like this video. Comment. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your own girl. All right. That's your video. Yay. Yes. That's, that's the key to having a balanced life is if being organized that's it that's that's it okay so i asked you guys on instagram to send me some question and you did so somebody said how do you market yourself in a saturated market day consistency every day get it out there yes Perfect message show up show if you don't show up what you, you can't expect nothing like, exactly I, Tell them to show up every day, no matter if you feel like, oh, I'm posting too much mm -hmm. or I'm not getting enough likes. Trust me, that they're watching. Yes. Don't stop. <laughs> Just keep market. Um, I use different, unfortunately, you know, different apps. We have access to so many resources now. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense and for free. So it doesn't make so much out there to market yourself. It's, it's so, man, it's, it's time for someone. Do it. Somebody else said, "Who inspires you?" Any female that I see, I can see her story. She came from not being where she's at right now to actually growing to the woman she wanted to be. So it's like really nobody in particular. I admire every woman who just gets out there and gets to it and make yes. it happen. It's speak life into other women. Those are the women that inspire me. It's, it's so many. Yeah. Um, definitely. But Shateria, she I love mm. her. Aura, just everything like 
fact that she has, she does fashion, but it's like the way she just posts, she just seems so just, you know, relaxed and mm-hmm. smooth and it's just, it's different when you run the business. And I know she probably is used to that, but that's definitely who I look up to. Yeah. So. Somebody said, do you think anybody can have a business? Anybody? Definitely. Um, with the right mindset. Mm. It's all it's all mental. Um, running a business is definitely mental. You gotta be mentally prepared. Um, but yeah, if you put your mind to it, yes. Somebody said, "What makes you stand out in the fashion industry?" The variety, the variety, the variety. So it's not just like one thing. You know, I have so much to offer. So it's like, okay, cool. I like this. I ain't gotta go over here for this and that. Mm-hmm. I can just come right and get everything I need, and I'm gone. Yeah. Somebody said. Tips for support. I have friends who tend to do the same things that I do and they seem to be more successful. I get discouraged. How do I still support them without letting myself down? Number one, you got to change your mindset. Don't think like, you know, they're doing better than you. Just understand that they actually worked more than likely to get mm-hmm. them. Don't you keep working and believe in yourself and put positive energy out there. Congratulate them. And, you know, even ask them for tips. I mean, we all kind of doing the same thing kind of is all in the marketing like we said earlier but it's nothing wrong with asking um and if they're your real friends they're gonna want to see you on the level they want to better too so um i would just say stay positive keep working don't stop don't kind of look on somebody up this you know focus on mm-hmm. you but you congratulate your friends in the process yes yes there we go. <laughs> somebody said um how do you stay motivated when the money isn't coming go get it now <laughs> <laughs> um how do you stay motivated think about the next thing because like things are trendy you know it's a super trendy where we in so it's okay to be semi-trendy um just to kind of stay stay looking for the next thing don't just get stagnant don't don't drown in that feeling do not drown and that the money is not flowing because um, it's gonna it'll take you down take you right down you have to keep your mind positive do some research in that time learn something new um reach out to people you haven't talked to i don't know follow new people just i don't know don't let it beat you because it, it can when yeah. you feel like i'm putting all this in and i'm not getting anything back yeah that's that's not a good feeling i'm so happy i haven't feel that way in a long long time but i've definitely been there before and i never gave up even when it was slow i never gave up right the drive and the mindset like she keeps saying the mind it's all in your mindset like you can change a situation you just have to think better about it um yes somebody said tips for marketing when you have a boutique that has items that most people have Um, you know what taking your own personal pictures so with me with the clothes um I just got yeah, me a model. I love her. She's awesome. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see her this weekend. We do we shooting some more. I got yes. Some so I would just say, you know, get get your models, and it's and it don't it doesn't matter if this everybody you know or so and so has this outfit and all that. Just market it. Cute caption, cute hashtag. Mm-hmm. Um, just add videos. You know, just spice it up a little bit. Yeah. Like, they're all we all got access to almost the same thing so yes. make it work for you somebody said advice for brand ambassadors i typically have a bad encounter with them i still don't necessarily have one so i haven't had a good experience or a bad experience um just yet but um right now like i said i'm working with ari like she's not my brand ambassador but like I feel like she's somebody that, because she's want she's want to do style. She wants to be a personal stylist. So okay. She, so just kind of connecting with people, maybe not so much as a brand ambassador, but kind of just I don't know, I don't know, just kind of <laughs> con- on another level or something because that that brand ambassador is a little tricky because some people do want things for free and they don't want to, you know, do the appropriate things or they have like fake followers mm. and you know, just, it kind of gets a little tricky with that so i haven't really got off into that just yet because of that but i do i do want brand ambassadors i do i want to get discount codes and i want them to be able to post and love their products for real write a real review i feel like you know what another thing too like customers like your real customers who support mm. like can turn into those so i might look into doing that it just kind of came to my mind as i'm talking yeah um 
to kind of use the people who actually love your product because we i'm sure as the business owner you got those customers those top five who's gonna come to you anytime you post something or you have something they want it even mm-hmm. if they're not like the look you know that you might want yeah. and all of that it's beneficial because they're gonna talk about you from here and it's sincere and the people they know people too just because again it's not probably the audience you want to bring they're still going to you just you just never know you never know what comes like that so i'm gonna look into that to my loyal customers yes that's a way to give back to them and they still because they shop with you anyway so well you know something something for something since you've been rocking with me let me help you here exactly yes somebody said how do you stay positive i think instagram is a toxic place (laughs) It's always a positive in it. I know it may be hard to see it, and that doesn't mean that you're avoiding what's happening. It's just you choosing to look at it a different way. Exactly. It's all in your mindset. Somebody said, do you feel like the quarantine has slowed down your business? I'm scared to post my products. Not at all. (laughs) Anything I have definitely seen a major increase in my sales. Um, do not be scared to pivot yeah. to to show your what you have to offer. You never know yeah. who's watching it. Even though we're in this town right now, people are still spending <laughs> getting it. I don't Let's know why see. y'all think people are broke right now. Like <laughs> I really don't know why don't know y'all why. assume that nobody has money. Yes, it's a pandemic, but Gucci still making money, Louis still <laughs> making money. Why can't you? Why can't you? <laughs> You hear me? Do not be discouraged by this thing. If anything, it's, I've actually sat and learned a lot. Like, I've been doing, I'm not a big reader as I really want to be, but I've been doing like, a lot of research and I have my this little ugly little notebook. Like, I I just, man, I'm writing stuff down and learning new things during this time. That is so important during this pandemic. I learned a lot. I cannot wait to finish sharing that. So, don't be scared. Back to that. Do not be scared to launch during this time. You will not do good luck yes good luck good luck launch it and it's actually almost over now i mean right. places it's are opening yes it's when the outside opens back up yes they're gonna need your product whatever it is i'm they gonna need it they are gonna need it yes okay i'm gonna facebook instagram <laughs> light or dark <laughs> liquor now you know <laughs> dark <laughs> yes yes do you have any final thoughts for the people i want to thank you for watching number one number two go after whatever it is that you want to do do not be scared um meet new people connect and have fun i love to have fun that's <laughs> i'm a bag of fun okay so after all this i'm i'm probably gonna go make me a drink and have it. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, just enjoy yourself and just learn yeah. and be positive and stay focused. Yeah. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for giving back to girl bosses like you do. Thank you for sharing some of your gems with us. We definitely are going to make it happen and pivot our businesses now. It is not too late. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You're Bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Alrighty, you guys, that does it for my girl boss talk today. I hope you are encouraged like I am. It's never too late to start or even to pivot your business. Um, so, yeah, 
make sure you follow Melita on Instagram, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back next week with another Slay of the Week on this Girl Boss series.